2016 was another year of struggles for the federal hawking boys and girls. Eric Threed has a look back at a tough campaign. Federal Hawking Lancers. Both boys and girls teams combined for nine wins. They both lost in the first round of the playoffs. It was hard to find positivity in Fed Hawk, but it wasn't all bad. After losing 12 of the first 13 games, the Lady Lancers won four of their last eight regular season games. Locking down the paint led to transition buckets where Fed Hawk showcased their long range shooting ability. But Fed Hawk fell flat in its face, however, because of one aspect they lacked all season finishing in the clutch. Turnovers and lazy defense in the tournament cost them a date with Waterford. The boys had similar problems, but none bigger than perimeter defense. The Lancers could have made smart decisions, could have passed the ball efficiently, could have knocked down shots, but Federal Hawking's inability to stop its opponents penetration silenced any voices that preached Lancers' success this season. They finished with a loss to Ironton St. Joe and Fed Hawk led after each of the first three quarters. Now they have volume three-point shooter Ryan Harvey, gone. Rebound snatcher Carter Russell, gone. Floor general and leading scorer A.J. Cobb, gone. But Coach Jamie Justice got one year under his belt. The only way to go is up. So both teams had pretty rocky seasons. Rachel Walbrown and Clark Wicks join me now. How do you see the Lady or er, both Lancer squads doing next year? Well, Sean, the Lady Lancers will lose leading scorer Destiny Taylor to graduation. So the constant, the consistently average juniors Gracie Bayhaw, Audrey Blake, and Skylar Hatfield will need to take charge if they want that Hawking crown. I completely agree, Clark. Blake is just a firecracker behind the arc, and Hatfield really has the ability to maneuver within the paint. Their accuracy issue was the only thing keeping them from being a constant threat this season. Beha needs to use her height to secure offensive and defensive rebounds. If the juniors work on these weaknesses, they'll be a better rounded team come winter. And when the boys graduate four players this year, their younger players will need to work in the offseason as well. Especially with main man A.J. Cobb gone in the 16-17 season, do you think there's anyone who can take a spot? A.J. Cobb may leave big shoes to fill, but I believe Randy Lance will be able to fill that role. He had quite a few double-digit scoring performances, and if he hits the weight room in the offseason, he'll be strong enough to finish in the paint. And with both of their seasons over and similar issues to be fixed, some pickup games against one another this summer might be all they need to work out those kinks. Yeah, we'll see how they do next year. Might be another tough one. Thanks, guys. One of the teams that made history this past season was